Hey, what's up? Adrian here with bestformyfeet.com. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. I want to welcome you to this video in which we're gonna cut in half my Doc Martens 7B10 steel toe work boots. I've personally used these boots for my construction job uh, to test them out and I've had them for a few months. I've done a review a video review and an article as well if you want to check those out links uh, below and uh, this video is just to cut them in half and see what's inside and hopefully if you are curious or uh, you want to learn more about this boot you can make your uh, your own opinion if this is worth it or not so let's get right into it All right, so here's the first thing I want to address right away. If you remember on, on the last video I made about the Caterpillar outline saying how well glued together everything was, I was really surprised to see how, how nicely and how well glued together this boot was. Well, this is exactly the opposite. Now, I didn't have any particular problems with this boot, but I had boots in the past where, again, they were a little bit loose like this, and uh, one of the layers slipped to the left or to the right, leaving a gap in my sole, and each time I would step on that gap was making the boot uh, more and more uncomfortable. So that's why Doc Martens should look seriously into putting better glue in their boots to keep everything together. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was my genuine reaction hmm? uh, to see a shank in this boot because, uh, you know, when I was wearing it, I, I didn't think it has a shank because the boot bends so much, uh, it doesn't seem to have anything in there. But uh, then I found this, I think it's plastic, it's a plastic, it's very flexible um, shank, it's about uh, 100 and... 20, it's almost 120 mil uh, long and if you prefer inches it's uh, almost five inches long i don't know why you would put this shank in in a boot i mean it's very thin as you can see uh it's flexible it, i don't think it makes any difference but hey there you have it if you're wondering if it has a shank well it has a shank Something I just realized as I was cutting these boots, you see the stitching here, uh, the stitching go from the outside all the way to the inside through the mesh and through the lining. So what happens is that when uh, you step in water or you know when you work in rain and all that, those stitches are going to get wet and all the moisture is gonna go straight to your socks. I don't know why they choose to do it this way it's just strange you could put those stitches behind the mesh the lining and you know have a little bit of protection in there uh, but hey that's what you get if you buy these Doc Martens work boots nice 
guys finally we get to some leather and uh, the leather on these dog martens is two millimeters thick very good it's a good thickness in a work boot although i don't like this i don't know why it looks so bad um maybe there's some plastic on top of it maybe there's some kind of product they they apply on top of the leather to make it look so shiny or whatever but it looks so bad <laughs> it looks so bad it really doesn't look like leather it looks like fake leather or some plastic or whatever but um dog martin says it's leather and i'm not an expert in leather so i guess i'm just going to believe them Underneath the footbed, uh, you have this microfiber board. You could say this is like a midsole, uh, and it's about three millimeters thick, almost three millimeters thick. All right, let's see what else we can find in here. And we see the stitches there from the Goodyear welt. Uh, we'll chat about that in just a second. But first, uh, check this out. This is, I don't know what material this is. If you know, let me know in the comments. It seems like a mixture of uh, sponge and cork. I don't know if that even makes sense. But anyway, this um, little piece of uh, material sits under your forefoot to provide you with cushioning and support when you take each step. And the last piece of the upper is this four millimeters thick uh, board it's hard i don't know what what is made of but uh, all i know is that it's hard all righty so there you have it this is indeed a goodyear welted work boot uh, as i said in the review as well this is just a weird way to do it at least because i i don't see it very often i the only company i know uh, use this technique to do a Goodyear welted boot is Doc Martens and um, people kind of hated that a little bit because it, it makes this boot a little bit uh, difficult to resole uh, but lately in, in the last few years cobblers got much more confident uh, and found ways to resole the boots so if you really 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 love your Doc Martens and you want to resole them <laughs> first of all make sure you get a better household than this uh, get the vibram on that especially if you work out outdoors these are the, this is the famous airwear um outsole by the way which uses air pockets uh it's it was made famous in the 1960s by uh, doc martens and i think i've covered everything let me know if i missed anything let me know if you have any other questions about this boot rose anvil has loads of videos about uh, doc martens boots he cut loads of them in half but he didn't have one that's the industrial uh, safety toe work boot so i hope this was helpful make sure to check out the review if you want to find out more about this boot thanks for watching i'm adrian with bestformyfeet.com see you in the next video bye